I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but here we are again at Hearth Cigars and Pipes in Omaha. Having a meet up here with uh, Billy Smock and uh, Haven Hill Piper. There they are. Say hi, guys. <laughs> so now we're inside, and as you can see, the place is built, looks like a log cabin, is a log cabin. That's the humidor over there, and Anthony, the guy that owns the store. But over here is his, uh, forgive the motion sickness. Here's the, uh, uh, his pipe tobacco tins and stuff. I'll open it up. Makes it easier to see. Some Savinelli stuff. Some he's got some 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 skiff mixture down there. A couple of sugays. I mean, lots of uh, Cornell and Deal and GLPs. A couple of Captain Earls. Yeah. Some more. Oh, maybe I did see that. Oh, there you go. There's some of the Hearth and Home, some Larry's blend, and some Ambassador's blend. One thing, a Dragon Flake. Then he's got his pipes. He sold a few since the last time I was up here, but there's a Hilson, that's a Kamoy's. Some nice pipes. That's some Savinelli stuff up here. And uh, I think this is an estate, but it's like a Peterson house pipe. The thing is huge. And he's got some, got some uh, Kamoys. I think some of these are Hilson. A couple of Hilsons up there. Nice pipes. All right, now we're going to Humidor. He's, he's actually sold out of quite a bit of stuff, and, but I mean, it's a nice humidor, nice selection. He's got some, there's some PDRs down here on this shelf. You know, it's uh, when I was up here last month, he had some of those. Oh, hey there, he still got them. I didn't notice them before, but. Yeah, it's just, just nice humidor. That's a Gurkha 15th anniversary. Or, no, I take that back. 10th anniversary, but they've been like 50, aged 15 years. It's got some of the Leaf by Oscar. Some Crux. That's an R. Monty's. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a nice shop. Cohibas. There's some psychos over there. Romeo y Julietas. Got some Gurkhas up here. And then some other stuff. He's even got some uh, <laughs> some book bags of its uh, Cherry Jubilee from Cornell and Deal in there. Alright. Alright. Oh, they've got some uh, cigar cutters and that kind of stuff over here. I mean, there's some Pretty nice cutters. 
decent prices on them. So, but yeah, you got a seating area over there, nice leather couches and all that. TV on each side, fireplace. So we'll work our way downstairs. Here's his actually re you know, restored vintage pinball machine. I mean, really nice setup. All right, downstairs. All right, here we are downstairs. There's his pool tables. <laughs> That's comical. No smoking on the rabbit air machine. No Vista TV. Got a table area over there. I think he's wanting to replace that table with something, with another pool table, I think. But dartboard, big table. This area is eventually going to be a conference room, meeting area, whatever. And then uh, a couple bathrooms. But all in all, just a beautiful shop. I, I enjoy it up here. All right. As you can see, after the shop tour and stuff, I'm home. Uh, I had a, it, It's really great to go to those places and get to actually meet up with people. And I know there's a lot of talk about that right now with Chicago happening next weekend. So, uh, if, by all means, if you get a chance to actually go meet people and shake hands and share a pipe, do so. It's worth every minute of it. But this was the first time that we'd met with Billy Smock. Uh, Jay, Haven Hill Piper, I'd met the last time. So, of course, Billy shows up and he brings samples. Uh, he had a bag prepped for Jay and I both. And uh, this is the... I mean, there's uh, Davidoff Royalty, Captain Earl's Ten Russians... Some Jermaine's Medium Flake, uh, Fusilier's Ration, Old Ironsides, uh, Jermaine's 1820, and some 7L Doubloon de Oro. I mean, just, and it's, they're not small samples in a lot of these. I mean, it's several pipes worth in most of them. So, you know, got loaded up with more just because I had to. Uh, been advised by Mr. John Ghost Cobb that he thought I might like these PDR cigars, so I picked up a few of those. And then uh, while I was there at Hearth, got this tin of Yorktown and a tin of Savinelli's Jubileo de Oro from this is September of 15 been curious about that blend and he had it he keeps it on shelf in there and he also had these little they're 10 gram sample packs basically of Camoys this is cast number one it's their double English so I grabbed a pouch of that to try it out but then on my way out of town I wanted to stop at another shop in town just to see and because uh, I had seen it online but I had never been there and they do their own cigars there, so they're they're all infused. There's some that are rum and vanilla, some cherry, a couple of whiskeys. So I, I picked up some of their cigars. And uh, again, it pays to check your brick and mortars because I walked in there and here's a, a tin of British Woods sitting on the shelf in that shop. And not even priced bad. So I was... Uh, you know, impressed with the shop and the cigars smell really good. I haven't smoked any of them yet, but but anyway, that was another. Oh, the other thing, Billy had bought a tin of Presbyterian, so I got to try some of that, and he sent me with a sample of that. So, but another successful pipe meetup. Uh, we will be. We're going to set up another one for May sometime. We'll go back up there again, and we'll. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever actually get to the point where we'll do a video where all three of us on camera at the same time. Because, you know, we get to talking and we get to talking to the owner and looking around and stuff and we forget. I, I 
I actually had to just walk away and go do the shop tour today because we were in the middle of talking about stuff and I thought, oh crap, I got to go do this or it's not going to get done. So, but anyway, so there's the shop tour and a little bit to wrap up on our pipe meetup. So, until we talk again, life is short. Stop and smell the smoke.